Hello everybody, I make levels here and welcome to a mod that has no splash intro menu thing. I don't know. It is called Mining Complex. And this has been on my list to play for quite a while, but after a rather hellish week, many hours at work, um, I am just now getting time to do this. So, here we go. Here we, here we go, maybe? Pretty please? Okay, here we go. For realsies this time. Welcome to Mars, everybody! Hello, alright. So, wow, um, I guess for the first thing I would say is grammar. You know, kind of, you should fix transmitter and establish connection. That is really, kind of something. It's really kind of something. Okay, so we're on Mars. We are... we are... that... that... you know, I've never been to Mars, but I'd say that um, kind of looks like what I would expect on Mars to look like, I guess. Lots of concrete on Mars, I guess. I'm not too sure what we're doing here. This is supposed to be a, rel a relatively short mod. It's supposed to be like 20 or 30 minutes, so... Hopefully, if we don't get really lost, <laughs> we'll be able to do this all in one go. So I will um, probably not be doing extent, you know, in case we get lost, which is there is an elevator there. There's also an elevator there. Boop, 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 boop. Hello. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. No, not really. Gee whiz. Okay, this... Seriously, am I just supposed to, like, wander around in here for five minutes before finding this door? I guess it hasn't really been five minutes. It's been, like, one. I'm just being hyperbolous, but... You know, player leading and all that stuff. Press space to jump. Oh, tutorials. That's an excellent tutorial. We're probably going to be jumping in this, in this thing here. All right, we got blood stains. We're um, uncovering narrative here. This is important. We got zombies and turrets. I I can sprint, but I don't have any weapons or anything. So, am I running that way then, I guess? I don't have any other option, right? Run, 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 run. Oh, look, the armory! I'm sure there's guns in there. I'm sure there's zombies in here. Come on, kill the, kill the thing. You are a horribly ineffective turret. Just, just straight up horrible. Whoever built that turret should be ashamed of themselves. That is probably gonna jump up at me, probably. Why are you doing this to me before I have weapons? Oh my god. It's, it's really not fun fighting enemies where you're freaking impotent. You have like nothing to do against them. And this turret, I'm sorry, but this turret is not pulling its weight here. Is it even seeing this thing? No, it's shooting at me. Look at this thing! I'm halfway dead already. If I had shields, I'd be 75% dead.
Look at how lame that turret is. Oh sure, it misses the zombies, but it hits me like all the time. This is this is a sham. This is totally a sham. Come on. Oh. Did I did I come I came from here. Let's check this door. Good lord, I'm hating this already. This was a fairly well received mod. Um you know, lots of like hey, I like this and and stuff type ratings. But holy crap, I am really not digging the intro here. Let's let's just keep going and ignore the lame turret that is ineffective at killing zombies. And go in here where look away if you are you know at risk for seizures or something. I hate lights that do this by the way. Blinky lights in pure dark places not not cool. I'm not not a fan of it. And it looks like I need to check something really quick because this is a mod. No wait, it's not a mod. It's in Half-Life 2, episode 2. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, Jesus. I hate that. I hate blinky lights in purely dark places. It's really... I really hate it. Come on, open. Nothing? These things always open. Games has, has lied to me. Okay, so we came here to get weapons, but now we have to go backtrack? This is... I'm not a fan of this flow. Kind of at all. I don't, I don't know why this would be here. Uh, I should be safe from the turret, right? Yeah, I'm out of range. So now what? I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised. Planet Philip usually, the people that review the mods there usually have a good head on their shoulders. And, like, stuff like this is usually called out really thoroughly in the reviews. And I don't remember seeing anything... Oh, this! What in the world? The, the decal's on, like, invisible geometry here. I didn't even see this crowbar! Did I completely miss it? I'm gonna have to go back and look, because obviously I can't rewind in my head. Okay then, okay. Well, I don't have a normal pistol, so I guess this will be our spray ammo at enemy weapon. Okay. So... I hear fan noises, but I don't see fans moving. And that zombie went that way. Which means the air is blown from that way? I'm afraid this is going to kill me. But I have nowhere else to go, so... It is blowing me that way. And that is... It killed the zombie, so maybe those fans are supposed to be moving? Yeah, those those blades are supposed to be moving or something. I don't know. You just, you just go ahead. I'm going to go over here. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with this. Oh boy, these blades aren't moving either. I don't understand this. Are these blades supposed to be moving or not? I It doesn't, it seems like it should be. Door trims, dun dun dun. Okay, well, things. We got lockers, we got dead bodies, we have these fuse boxes which are usually openable. I don't know why you wouldn't do it. gonna be locked. I kind of knew it because of this. This here. You know, this place looks really pristine for some alien badness going on here. I'm just gonna say, like, you know, this area, pristine. This room, grungy and dead bodies and blood. It's uh, very, 
contrasty. Which isn't a problem if you stick to that formula, you know, it, it creates like a, hey, you're safe in this area kind of feeling. But... That's only if you stick to that, that uh, you know, precedent of the, uh, you know, bright lights and sort of sterile looking environment being the, the safe areas. Well, we got ammo crates and grenade crates, no shotgun shells. I haven't had any weapon. well I guess technically I could have shot those enemies in the, in the wind tunnel thing first. But I've had like no enemies here, aside from the first ones that I had to run away from, which mind blowing. And you've already loaded me up with um, an ammo crate and shotgun crate. I really am not a fan of these fast zombies, especially when they're thrown at you sort of uh, willy-nilly like this. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it at all. <laughs> the, the times that I, I'm not, I'm not just complaining for the sake of complaining, and I'm not saying like, oh, I dislike this combat because it's you know difficult or whatever. It doesn't seem overly difficult yet, but these things have such a unique sound to them, and I really like it when these are, you know, kind of foreshadowed in the in the in the level and stuff, and they're they're kind of like a oh crap, something something big is about to go down kind of kind of time. And right now they are just kind of like, here's 20 enemies for you to deal with, and that's rather um not interesting, I'm gonna say. Not interesting. Hooray! We have overcome the alien threat. Or something. So, what did this button do? Did it cross? Did it open this bridge? I don't even remember. This is, uh, <laughs> you know, if I was to, um, there's, there's a lot you can learn from games. There's a, there, there's a huge amount you can learn from games. If you just look at how, how Valve introduces enemies to you, they're very, they're very, very planned. And I mean, technically anyone playing a Half-Life 2 mod is probably going to be familiar with the enemies. So. You don't need to introduce them, but even the way that they enter a game space, even after you've already been introdu introduced to them, they're they're very they're very well planned, and they're not just push a button. Here's ten enemies to deal with. They're it's not like that at all. And uh, too long didn't read is probably I wish that combat setup was a bit more planned and designed rather than push button have 10 enemies kind of thing because there was really nothing to that 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 anyone moderately familiar with the mod tools couldn't do and that is uh amateurish i'm gonna say okay blood splatters this is kind of good it's very perpendicular to the path kind of drawing me this way and the green lights are always a nice touch okay I know where I'm going I know I'm going the right way I feel like I'm going the right way this elevator has two doors apparently so let's talk about Mass Effect elevators Elevators are boring when there's nothing going on. Uh, let's see here. Examples of, um, you know, boring elevator rides where things are going on. Even the Mass Effect elevators had the radio kind of spewing game events and news at you and stuff. 
Uh, Left 4 Dead 2 has, you know, conversations going on with you in the enclosed um, elevators. In the elevators with, uh, like, glass walls and stuff, you can see the game environment before you reach it, and that is also... Um, those th that one also had uh, sort of conversational stuff of like, hey, here's what we need to do and stuff, and my weapons just went away. Are you hear me? Are you hear me, Earth? Damn. Okay, so I'm not sure how far Earth is from Mars. But I'm fairly certain that it would take slightly longer than that to get a response. Right? Right? Someone, someone, you know, someone out there with the calculator is like, yes, yes, that is true. You got overlapping brushes here. Maybe this is in the future. Okay, so why did we come in here? This served nothing. So... <laughs> <laughs> Gee whiz. For the record, I am okay with kind of non-combat thematic elements in a in a mod and stuff, but this needs to set up something, right? If this was like, oh hey, the transmitter on the other side of the complex is busted, let's go repair it and then we'll be able to send the transmission, that would be fine because it's giving you a goal afterwards. Or, you know, if they messaged me back and they said, Ah, oh, you guys are on your own, you know, we're quarantining your planet or whatever. Then it would be like, oh, well, we need to kill everyone and prove that, you know, everything is dead and we're no longer need to be quarantined or something. This is just a waste of time. There's nothing... There's nothing there to, to do. That's kind of sad. I was, I was seeing if it was bulletproof glass. It is bulletproof glass. I'm okay with it being bulletproof glass. This looks like a stand here. It's very on the nose. So, in a world where we have teleporters, we're still taking slow tele- slow- <laughs> slow teleporters- slow elevators between floors. This doesn't seem right. It's, uh... narratively... Dissonant. That is a enemy spawn area with nothing in it. There's not even a door out of it. It's not even set dressed at all. That this is a shame. <laughs> this is seriously a shame. I was, you know, there's a lot of mods on Planet Philip that get kind of a a wide range of reviews. You know, like two or three in the don't play it category, two or three in the meh category, and two or three in the this is really good category, and this one was weighted towards the this is good category, and so far I'm not feeling it. Can I get under that? Bookcases can't hold me back. Hello dead person. Okay, well, hmm. There's even simple, simple kind of cheesy stuff that, that I would really rather see done here. This is turning into a less of a review and more of like a, here's what I would rather be playing right now, because honestly, I'm, I'm not, I'm not feeling this mod here. So far, we haven't really had many enemies to fight with. We had that one combat counter, and that was kind of, eh, whatever, you know. But this one, this is a prime area for, you know, like a body is getting dragged into the vent, or it's already in the vent, and it it falls, and then something scampers away or something. There's really no ambient sort of, oh crap, what the hell's going on here kind of feeling. It's very kind of sterile. Uh, sure, there's zombies, apparently, and other whatever those fast zombie things are. Oh god, more elevators, and there's lots of elevators. This one's faster than the other one. Gee whiz. Whoops, sorry. Instinctively pressing my right mouse button. I, uh... Ugh. 
There we go. There we go. See? This would be a way better way to introduce these in a combat space, I feel, than the first one. So they're going up and we're going down. Are we going into like a nest kind of situation here? This has a very kind of aliens, Ripley thing feeling going on. Except now we're just, I saw one over there. And I hear a couple over there. So now we're just... <laughs> now we're just fighting another whole group of... group of these things. This is not fun, this is not interesting, it's not interesting combat, it's just... It's... Oh, I don't like it. There's also, like, no music or anything going on. There's no combat music, there's no, uh... I can't really detect any kind of ambient stuff going on. There's no... It is a sort of a... I'd compare it to an office building, I guess, but there's no, you know, kind of hums of computers or air supplies or anything or anything, anything going on. Trains. There's trains on Mars. That doesn't really look like a train, though. It looks maybe like a drilling machine or something. I don't know. Let's go see what this is, because I don't want to... I mean, all the lights are pointing at it, so... Apparently, this is where I'm supposed to go. We're going... That way. Why would I do this? I don't understand. Now can you hear me, Earth? I'm totally exploding things all over the place. Please tell me there's something else. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what in the hell is going on here? Holy crap. Holy crap. I have no idea how this got such good reviews on Planet Philip. I really don't. I have I I don't even know what to say. Uh it's not that it was <laughs> it wasn't egregiously offensive to me, you know, I wasn't like hating it, but it just there's so much more that could have been done that would have made me feel the setting a bit better than it did. And I think, unfortunately, this mod... There's basically two combat setups, right? And it was basically throw a bunch of fast zombies at you, and that's it. I'm not counting the first part where you have to dodge the zombines and hope that the turret kills them, or that you sort of duck, dodge, dip, weave, and dodge past them to get the ammo to then kill them. Because that's really unintuitive. <laughs> you want to go away from the enemies if you don't have any weapons to find ammo and weapons stuff. This is weird. This is weird. I don't know why it got such a positive response. Um, I'm not enjoy. <laughs> I did not enjoy it. It was, uh, I would definitely say, don't bother playing this. Thumbs down for me. I, I want the last 25 minutes of my life back. Thanks for watching, everybody! <laughs> oh, Jesus. I apologize. Join me next time. I don't know what we're playing next, but since this is only one video today, we got the rest of the week to go. So, join me tomorrow for our new adventure. Until then, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.